other two teams left in that top four are PSG and Frank. They took down... Oh, they didn't even take down Frank. They lost to Frank. Very close. Very, That's very Frank. close. Yeah. Looking for redemption here up against PSG. And PSG also losing to Frank. It's their time to prove that they are at least second on the ranking. Yeah, Feng doesn't go for the D-Blade we see a lot on the center. Decides to just go for a support item early. As Halo Blades on the Azir, maybe the only thing that sticks out. We do see him go for the Halo Blade into a lot of the ADC matchups. Yeah. Just allows you to get a little bit more trading in. Uh, yeah. It makes your trade pattern a lot stronger than if you have the fleet or if you have lethal or conqueror. And so just for the lane pressure, go on the Halo Blades. It doesn't scale nearly as well as the rest of the runes. Yeah. Fleet, obviously, for that movement speed, mobility. Uh, lethal yeah. tempo, just continuously auto-attacking, and then obviously Conqueror. Yeah. Uh, lots of damage, but... Yeah, I think everything does seem as you'd yeah. perhaps imagine. Now, I, I don't really know who wins this top lane. Obviously, we saw Gory versus Driver. It looked like it's Aatrox's favorite, but when you introduce other things like dragons, the, the, yeah. the Void Grubs and junglers, everything yeah. can change. Yeah, as it looks like Husha's going to start on the bot side and path to gank this Aatrox, and... Junji is going to start on the top side and actually path towards his bot side. A lot of the time we see him path top, uh, but he's going to try punish the red side bot lane here. His bot lane is definitely going to have prior, yeah, so it's it a good lane to play around. Doesn't get a bit mu any more ranged than, than Caitlyn yeah. Lux, especially in the lane phase. Obviously, eventually, Fing probably going to have more range than either of these champs. But yeah, he has to get there, though. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, Caitlyn Lux, a very strong lane, but... Uh, if you make a mistake on this lane, your game is almost just immediately over. If you die in this 2v2, which shouldn't really be happening, but if you yeah make mistakes and die, lose trades in this 2v2, then uh, it becomes really difficult to play the game with a Caitlyn Lux. Yeah, I mean, Nautilus is having to do the farming in this lane, and yeah. like, now that the wave is in tower, he's able to get some of them, but... And Husha knows it. He's coming to try punish well, Biddy this saw lane. Him. Biddy saw him. Yeah. And maybe he didn't. I mean, I swear he did. Oh, no. Would have been very close. Bush is going upriver, though, so... Yeah. But even just having to make the Caitlyn Lux back up a bit is, you know, relieving a lot of pressure. As it seems like Zach gets the early prio at the very least. Now, I mean, I a big difference with this and the ARAM map is that you don't start with a bunch of items. So yeah. you can take advantage of the base stats on the Zach. Maybe helps the early game a lot. Yeah. No oh boy. There's the Halo Blades trades. Quirky usually doing fine in these lanes, though. Yeah, I think Maple getting a bit of CS, getting to level 6, and that's where really where the Quirky starts to feel a lot better. Ooh. <laughs> nice <laughs> trade from Cheeky Driver. Little, cheeky little trade. Yep. And Beyond are going to be desperately trying to get this wave out. As they oh don't. my god. Stay True just took a lot of damage. I don't think he minds, because they're recalling immediately. Yeah. And... They are actually not very threatening onto this Nautilus, honestly. They landed pretty much everything. Um, actually, everything. And, yeah, they got him to about half. And I think smart cleanse pick up from the center. As Junji is getting engaged on, this could be scary. Yeah, Zia's got first move. But gets away from somehow it. gets out. Didn't even need the phase rush. Yeah. Actually deciding to not gank for the Zach, who's just mostly playing around the spot lane so far. He could get on Junjia here, he has to flash. Yeah, Junjia. Might flash after him, that's a kill. Oh! oh one on one, six flashing for the KS. Yeah, uh, I mean. Does get it. He gets the kill, that's a very important kill, of course. Getting some gold onto your Azir is really nice. Yeah. Now you do have to worry about perhaps being punished with your flash down, but I think ultimately Azir should be safe enough. Yeah. You should see Nature's Grasp in time. Junjir also lost flash. You can't get flash twisted advance. And yeah, so it should be okay, but just, yeah. I don't love the flash from him, but... Better than a jungler getting the kill. No one wants to see that. <laughs> Driver gets his E insta-interrupted. Gonna have to take a recall here. He's actually... Oh my god, on spawn. Yeah, just here immediately. I wonder how low he will get. And Senna's not here. So yeah, Senna's sucks. not going to get uh, any of these stacks, which is good for PSG. Driver very chunked out. I think Husha would really like to contest this with his mid prior. Uh, but recall really delayed by Driver. 
As Junjiya just takes two and gets out. Maple's going to have to recall too. Pretty wise. Aja does. Has willed into... I like this play from Husha. Oh, from Junjiya, sorry. He just takes two, sees the Zen coming, just gets out. He's happy with two. They're not going to get five. Yeah. Five Void Grubs where it really spikes, or six where it becomes really strong. Summoning two instead of one. As Honestly, this Nautilus is doing fine in the bot lane. A little bit of presence from their jungler helped a lot in a situation where they were, the wave was about to crash into their tower, and that's where Caitlyn Lux can really get to work. When you're stuck under your tower trying to last hit and they're just poking you, uh, Zin just shows his face bot and they have to back up a lot as Feng's trading really aggressively. Oh, really negatively. Yeah. Has quite a lot of sustain on the center with the fleet footwork, but... Uh, and yeah. three bickies. There's right. a lot of bickies. Yeah. Bit of a bake sale in the bot lane. Surprised to see biscuits on the Caitlyn, but... I, I am a gathering storm enjoyer. That's because you played a scale. Yeah. Who shit is here, both, down, but... Down three kills in the bot lane. We scale. I have gathering yeah. storm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Junjia might walk into Husha here, but going for a lane gank, he will sneak into this. Both top push. laners, by the way, going heal cart first. Yeah. As this could be trouble for PSG. Woody will at least lose his flash if he gets Nautilus hooked here. Does and miss, but he lands the other. get rooted. Is going to lose his flash anyway. With Junjiya here, it ends up just being the flash. Uh, good play by Junjiya. I think if he's not here, Woody just dies. They can follow up on that, I think. Uh oh, uh -oh. They're, they're going forward. And that's going to be Stay True getting very low and taken oh, out. Oh, level 6. Yeah, hits level 6. Immediate level up. That is how you use your keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. Husha going forward, looking for the turn back kill on to Husha. Oh, oh my so close. God. But yet so far. We now have a 2 and 0. Caitlyn in the bot lane. Yeah, this Wave is what crashing. you want. Out of your Caitlyn Lux lane, play around it, and yeah, I'm surprised they managed to turn that a kill, turn that into a kill, and then somehow a second kill uh, for Beyond. Pretty Ooh. disastrous. Biddy, by the way, has Bickies and a Triple Tonic, so no Cosmic, no Boots. As it looks really good for Beyond here. I mean, the hook doesn't land, but you still hit hit it on the wall and get on top of Woody. The center W coming out really late is maybe what screwed up this play. But, I mean, Junjia just lands the slow from his E and just gets on to the Nautilus. And I guess you just had to recognize your Nautilus was just dead there. But I think maybe seen... they just didn't expect the level up off the kill. Yeah. We've seen the Nautilus tank, you know, the full Caitlyn Lux combo, so maybe they were expecting to be able to turn that play around. Senna doing a oh lot less God. DPS. Husha goes to spear the red buff and, and locates a tree. Yeah. But not the kind of tree you want to see. Priority for Aatrox means Maokai is able to bully the Zen off his red buff. And he, I don't see him having much hope of trading the enemy red buff with his bot lane getting shoved in. Yeah, now, I mean, all things considered, it is PSG 200 gold ahead, which is fairly insignificant, really. Yeah. Betty's going to be scary, of course, but 116 with that first blood and nearly out of Nashes, he's going to be feeling yeah. quite good. Dragon's still yet to be looked at from either team. Yeah. On the way. I Both think, junglers. Yeah. We're bot again. Teleport, still not upgraded. Will be in five more seconds. And so I wonder if they just saw Husha. I feel like they might have. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. I, knew he was, I thought he was in the first bush still. They do see him now, and I think both junglers just kind of have to stand around here. I think whoever commits first probably loses. 
Junji is starting up this dragon though, and PSG do have first move with their wave crashing. Back to top, we have two people currently with Grievous Wounds active, uh -oh. and boy oh boy, Fing can have to flash and still almost die. Yeah, loses both the sums, that means no hope. Okay. Oh, but Testing. Stay True still is going to be using his hook forward as Maple is coming on in. With he does package, have right? a package. Yeah. That's going to be one dead Nautilus for the second time this game. Fing kind of getting away with murder there. I think maybe Stay True dies anyway, and Maple could look for, yeah, look that for a dive. center, but... Yeah. They're happy to pick up the kill on the Nautilus and the Dragon. It is Very the ambitious play. hook from Stay True. Uh, with the center chunked out, I don't think they can ever fight that. Going to be the three Void Grubs, making it four, four beyond. Yeah, well, I don't think PSG really care about that. Yeah. Dragon getting some scaling on the board early and some, you know, the win con, of course. Yeah. It's then good to put a timer on something like the center. Yeah. And the Azir. And Quirky. maybe the Zachary. Quirky is fine scaling into his ear, but you know you don't want to take it late too too late for no reason. And we're just leaving the void grub for fun. Just nice to go for the crab. Oh, just misses. swing and a miss. Thumbs up. <laughs> that was very close, though. Yeah, not much need for the Azir ulti, so he's not going to be missing it too much. Yeah, uh, he'll be fine in the mid lane without it. You know, when I, when I play Corky in, in my games, there's usually been about seven fights in top and bot river by now. Yeah. And it just feels dirty. That you are not useful in at all. <laughs> in game. Somehow, PSG there. winning <clears throat> the early game with, you know, the black hole that is a Corky in the mid lane. Yeah, but they do have the bot lane, which, you know, yeah. Caitlyn Lux is so much finally power. made his way to the top lane, but getting harder and harder to find a kill onto the Aatrox. Maybe once he finishes Titanic on the Zen, if he gets it in a reasonable time. They can look again. Oh, top, oh as... boy. Who should did show himself top? Yeah. And Nature's Graph's going to come out. It's going to oh, be blocked up, but two man root. What an absolute beautiful light binding there. Jinji is going to look for oh. the kill on Fing, but maybe not. As somehow, wow. some way, it is BYG's bot lane who managed to live, and now Driver's yeah. actually teleported down. 116, uh -oh. he does not combo his Shurima shuffle correctly. Kind of stands flat-footed as now. Oh, in Maple. comes Arze. Maple's in there. Maple's truly in there. There's a lot of low health, but there's a lot of low mana here on Maple. Feng eventually will be going down oh. here to Betty as RJ finds himself one as well. That's eventually three down. Yeah. I think all off the back of a failed Shurima shuffle. Yeah, and I said he wouldn't be missing as a zero, but he kind of was this in this fight. Uh, maybe over ambitious from beyond to just TP down when they they kind of got the best outcome they could hope for uh, with both their bot laners living kind of miraculously on this play. But then they TP in down numbers because it's always going to be matched, I guess. As yeah, they line up to dodge the Maokai ult, but the Lux snare hits both. And Feng almost immediately one shot. Nice positioning, and I thought a Maokai Q was going to pick him up, but he gets hooked back. And TPing onto a trap driver is... It almost looks good, but Woody flashes the Zaki here. And then Driver finds himself in the middle of everyone, has to flash away. And Maple, Giga Chad, ults onto two people here, or Valks onto two people. And yeah, they clean up a couple extra kills. You know, PSG getting the maximum there. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. Yeah, bro's happy. I mean, not often this early in the game, you get to just valk into the middle of four people and yeah. get away with it. Yeah. Well, he does. And I mean, yeah, big turnaround. I mean, not turnaround, they're already ahead, but now yeah. extending that gold lead ever so slightly. Admittedly, 116 still strong, but the game gets harder and harder for him as it, as it progresses. You, yeah. You're still going to have to deal with Lux bindings, Lux ults, and then, of course, Corky just throwing out this missile barrage on a, on a two-second cooldown. Yeah. Now, it is going to be that mirror mana completed. Still stacking it up, however. Uh, Malignant's also being started. Yeah, beyond hitting the rift. Uh, PSG out of position to contest it, really. They might look to take the bot tower, but actually they're moving. To the rift. 
Oh, Betty. Pushes Betty on. does have flash. He's going to be able to get out that 90 caliber net. In comes Junjia. In will come Driver. Junjia's in the middle of four, and he's not quite going down. He will eventually. Driver should be able to pick it up, and by oh, God, he does. Woody. But a massive Lux binding will find two of them. That's one kill for Woody, one kill for Betty, three kills overall. And once again, PSG coming off, better off. It looks like it might work out for a second there for Beyond. The Zen, the Zen ulti blocking so much so much damage from the Caitlyn and the Lux, but then Woody, right after they kill Junjia, he finds a snare onto two, E ult, and... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is Caitlyn starting to hit? Yeah. I mean, Stormraiser and half his IE already. As Yeah, Husha finds his way onto the enemy bot lane, but they're so strong at this point. They can trade so much damage back. He gets the ult off and stole so much time that they can take out Junjia. But watch Woody with this binding on the back line. Finds an E onto two. Finds a binding onto two. Ult onto two. Just solo carries the fight, really. Maple teleports in and says, oh, my bad, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 171 damage dealt by 116. He auto-attacked Maple while he teleported. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it does feel hard now for BYG to find angles, right? Because their, their team comp to find and engage is go in. Send driver in, yeah. disrupt, uh, and hopefully Azir and Senna can, can find this long range yeah. poke down and DPS. But, but you hate to be Zach jumping into these fed carries. Yeah. This Caitlyn now has IE working towards Berserker Greaves, likely to pick up some armor pen next, I'd have to suspect, is feeling really, really strong. Uh, BYG, they have the Azir yeah. Who is quietly just getting stronger and stronger. Nash's, te Nash's tooth completed. Uh, next up will be that Leandri, so... Yeah. Well, they. the problem is PSG have a Corky on the other side doing the same thing. Yeah. We've seen the late game. Corky generally doing a lot more. Azir has the opportunity to find some crazy ultimates, but... Oh, well, Trelli is. Uh -oh. Package comes out. Stay true is going to get to us advanced on. And it's a nice dredge line, which will find Betty, but no one can follow up on it. Driver's going to have a teleport in. Nice ult. The Empress divide lands onto Junji. And Mabel's going to flash away from that slingshot there from Zach. But a double kill for Betty now. He's looking for more. Arji's looking for more. It's a triple kill. Arji claims the quadra, but now Husha, he's on the run. World is still going on. Gonna to flash away from RJ on this Aatrox and time and time again it's PSG coming up trumps and it was actually Woody finding another massive binding in the middle of that team fight and you have to question beyond TPing into that play when I mean they commit the package to kill the Nautilus you kind of give them the kill I think uh, they do TP in and decide to contest it and it goes pretty disastrously as the Senna is not matching this Caitlyn's damage uh, anytime soon, as Maple finds a package very aggressively onto the Nautilus. But when you're this far ahead, you can engage onto a Nautilus, uh, especially when his team is so far away. Shirelli has popped there. He just gets locked down and killed very quickly. Driver comes in, and Woody flashes out of the Azir. Ult finds a binding again oh. onto two. One shots the Senna, almost. Betty comes in to finish off the kill, and at, at this point, the fight's... I mean, the fight was kind of over before it started, because they started the fight by making a pick onto your uh, Nautilus. It was a little bit more important than the support usually is, because he does have all the farm from the wall in. For sure. Well, one six getting a lot of autos off and, and doing a very inconsequential amount of damage. Now, Arja does... Pick up that Sundered Sky as his item here, and I mean, I don't really hate it so much this game. I think you have a lot of damage. I think you might just need it against the Zac. Yeah, uh, the I, healing's helpful. Yeah, I think the um, the Lethality build might struggle in the side lane as the gold is all PSG. Three members up in the top three, and Azir, 1116, as we've said, is doing well on the Azir, but is it going to be enough to carry the whole game? Maybe just too many threats on the side of PSG. Yeah, it's so hard to consistently dodge out of these continuous sort of barrages coming from Corky. Yeah. I mean, sitting living in the side lane already feels like it's going to be difficult. He does get the ult out of Aatrox, not going to go down. So that that's big. Yeah. Of course. Now this makes the side lane a little easier. Admittedly, Aatrox cooldown is not that that long. I mean, it's already yeah. a quarter of the way to being back up, so... 
Might get the tower though, that's another objective gold for the team, and obviously the tower local gold for him. Driver though being looked at, does have his revive available, is going to have to use that a elastic screen shot, wow. and wow, they actually find him. The revive passive is going to be down, are they going to be able to keep him alive? Oh, they're not. Woody does claim that one. Stay true now. He's a bit too far up. Center ult keeping alive just a little bit more. <laughs> Maple ended up going down there to the center and the tower. And now, Jinji, though, he's still feeling confident. He's still walking on forward. It's 3v3 here as both sides have one person dead, Driver and Maple. But pretty hard for BYG to stand up. Too many low health bars. It's top lane. Yep. Inhibitor tower now going down. And yep. 116 not quite able to get that bot tower. I think they maybe could take the inhib, but they decide not to. I think that's wise this early into the game. Uh, it's also a top inhib where uh, you do just give them a lot of farm if you take an inhib and you can't end before it respawns. And it's the top inhib, so they're not being pushed far away from the Baron. As I, I think Maple in that fight just went down to the to the tower. Yeah. I don't think he got really hit by anything but the Senna ulti as he just tanked the tower from full HP. I think he walked into it while mal Malignance was on someone. Yeah, must have rocked on someone and just got DPS down by the turret. Absolutely um, one digged. But you saw the power of the Caitlyn Lux there picking off the Zac from so far away. They both land their ults onto him and then even while his blobs are respawning, they both can just land damage from so far away. Yeah, even... even Corky of the Phosphorus Bomb just walks up, Q, it, it kills three of those blobs. Yeah. Just single-handedly. Yeah. And so if it was on top of all four, we'd I mean, be just taking him down immediately. Honestly, with the Zac, you had the tools to deal with this kind of comp where they're super long range, but a bit immobile. But from this far behind... Yeah, you're just going into your inevitable death. Yeah. Is Woody being annoying on the Lux? Yeah, going to be looked at here. It does have flash, so should... Stay safe, but you don't want to use the flash. Oh, close to finding one on one uh -oh. six. Okay, Aji is going to recall. Does he have that teleport there for a teleport flank? Let's look at the items on Betty. Yeah, he's he's very strong. Teleport flank coming in. You are kind of pigeonholed here into the mid lane. Driver, Driver. trying to find oh. an engage, and they're going to find Woody. That is the support. It's an important support, but down oh, will Maple. go 116. Arzi finds the knock up. In comes the package. Fing, you are going to go down. Maybe the tower takes out Maple. It will do. Stay true is going to survive at least, but now it's all Hoosh trying to run away. The flash twisted advance will be in range. Hoosh yep. is taken out. It's a triple kill now for Betty. It's going to be barren for the side of PSG. And they are so far ahead. Yeah, and you don't want to be losing the fight before the package has even come out because, as you saw there, the package comes out and it goes from a couple kills to a wipe uh, as Maple goes down to another tower. Yeah, this time it's the Sand Tower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, light work of the Baron here with your ADC. The strong Betty is 10 0 and 8. Yeah, uh, I mean, we've seen this Caitlyn before. It looked really scary. Maybe we don't give it to him. As watch how much damage this Caitlyn ult does to Senna here. Ow. Oh, and that's not even the and lethality one. Driver almost finds the angle onto Betty here, but Betty is just, he's hit the ghost and he's just running in circles around beyond. Oh, and three the man. Package comes out. Husha finds his way onto Betty finally, but uh, yeah, it's too little too late. He's got no follow up coming in the Zac. And Junji flashes on and make sure the jungler's dead and you're guaranteed the Baron with no shenanigans. Yeah, guess you pick themselves up the dragon as well. And then damage to champions, Senna 303, Caitlyn 5736. Yeah. That, I mean, yeah, this game, not really the Arjus show, but in fairness, he did land a three-man Q1, which isn't the easiest thing to do. What, on Aatrox? Yeah. Jeez. Did you not see that? He just, no, I missed that. Just, Three man? Flash queued forward and, and landed a three man Q1. I yeah. didn't know if three people could fit on that. Yeah, no, he did it. He just, he's a magician. Yeah. 302 having an honest performance, putting yeah. in the shift. You know, yeah. Honestly, everyone everyone here on PSG, except Maple, he's, he's died to a tower twice. Maybe he's yeah, called he's, it, but. He's getting it done, though. <laughs> he is getting it done. RG working on this mid tower. Oh. It should go down. Has, look how much damage this Corky has yeah. landed from off the screen already. Plenty of rockets still. Ready. Uh, Aja oh, can just push. Even, even Woody is hurting. Yeah. And you see what this comp is 
capable of doing from PSG, and I really think that Beyond Draft was decent at dealing with this, but just not from this far behind. Hook lands on the Junji, a dip charge comes out, it's on to Woody. Oh. Massive ult there from Woody as Driver comes on in. He's going to be eliminated almost immediately. Arjun now, he's the one in the back line. Fang, he's going to get away. This ult might just take him down. It's so low, he's not going to go down though. A little bit of return damage onto Arjun. It's still three dead here for the side of BYG. Bot lane and him going down. Mid lane and him being looked at next as Betty works his way on that. 116 does respawn. Oh, he doesn't even respawn. He's just still alive. Yeah. But what can he really do up against these menacing champions yeah. that PSG have put together? Yeah. I don't think they're going to be able to hold this. No. They're, oh. they're going to fall. Oh, 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 he does go down. He does go down. down. But Look so how much damage will does. the rest of BYG. Everyone's dead. Slayshu respawns. The Nexus will not. There's going to be game number one in exceedingly quick fashion for PSG Town.